I suppose Blackadder and his boys will have gone over the top by now, sir. Yes, God, I wish I was out there with them, dodging the bullets instead of having to sit here drinking this Chateau Lafitte and eating these filet mignon with sauce bernaise. My thoughts exactly, sir. Damn this Chateau Lafitte. He's a very brave man, Blackadder. And, of course, that lieutenant of his, George. Cambridge man, you know. His uncle Bertie and I used to break wind for our college. <laughs> Slightly, um... Unusual taste, this sauce bernet. Yes, sir. And to be quite frank, these these mignons are, are a little, well... What? Well, dungy. <laughs> what on earth's wrong with our cook? Well, it's a rather strange story, sir. No? Tell, tell. Well, sir, I received a phone call this afternoon from Pope Gregory the Ninth, <laughs> telling me that our cook had been selected for the England cricket team and must set sail for the West Indies immediately. Really? Barely a moment later, the phone rang again. It was a trio of wandering Italian chefs who happened to be in the area offering their services. <laughs> so I had the quartermaster take them on at once. Huh? 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 Oh, jumping jumpers! <laughs> are you sure these are real raisins in this plum up? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sure they are, sir. <laughs> Everything will be all right once the cream custard arrives. <laughs> well, that was all jolly good fun, sir, but dash it all, we appear to have missed the big push. Oh, damn, so we have. <laughs> One thing puzzles me, Baldrick. How did you manage to get so much custard out of such a small cat? <laughs>